Of all the television shows, afternoon soap operas enjoy the longest run and remain on the air for years. But they, too, must eventually come to an end. Tonight, let's look in on the final episode of a soap opera winding up after 15 misery-filled, scandalous years. As the stomach turns... Tell me, Marion, have you heard from your son? Which one? The one who has six months to live? The one who's getting a divorce? Or the one who is a fine country lawyer devoting his life to helping migrant farm workers? <laughs> no, the one who left Canoga Falls 15 years ago and hasn't been heard from since. Oh, that one. I forgot about him. How could a mother forget her own son? Victoria, sit down. <laughs> I have some shocking news to tell you. I, I've hidden it from you all these years, but now the truth must be told. The son who left Canoga Falls is not my son. I said he was my son to protect his dear mother. And who is his dear mother? You are my dear mother. Really? Truly. You mean it? Yes. But Marion. What? I never had a baby. Yes, you did, dear. You did. And then you got sick. You've had amnesia ever since that horrible day you were mysteriously pushed into the Canoga Falls Falls. Wait a minute. I remember. I did have a baby. A beautiful baby girl. No, dear, it was a boy. You just dressed it funny. You're right. I remember. Oh, that's wonderful. You're getting well, Victoria. Now, tell me, do you remember who the father was? Well, that's not important. <laughs> the important thing is that you're well again. No. The important thing is that I find my son. I don't want to argue, Victoria. <laughs> I must go search. I'll get it, dear. In the meantime, go into the kitchen and soak your chronic bursitis. <laughs> Why, it's Bob Baxter. The boy next door, who we all thought would never walk again, but grew into a handsome athlete, mixed up in scandal after scandal. How are you, Bob? Fine, fine. Wonderful, wonderful. Come in, dear. Tell me, when did you get out of jail? Oh, just about, uh, just about five minutes ago. Wonderful. They found out after all these years that I didn't murder Natalie Carter. Wonderful. How did they find out? Well, Natalie walked into the sheriff's office and admitted she lied at my trial. <laughs> wonderful. That's wonderful, wonderful news. Sit down, Marion. <laughs> I have some more wonderful news. Yes? I'm getting married. That's wonderful news. She's standing outside waiting to meet you. That's wonderful news. <laughs> Come in, my dear. How do you do? Why, it's Connie Canoga, that no good chorus girl who trapped wealthy old man Canoga, the founder of Canoga Falls, into marriage. Why, it's Marion Clayton, the frustrated gossip who I don't have to talk to anymore now that I'm a wealthy widow. Oh, but I will. Yes, I will. <laughs> How are you, Marion? So. 
You and Bob are getting married. And only three and a half days after old man Canoga died. Why did you wait so long? Well, we would have gotten married yesterday, but uh, well, we were afraid people would talk. I had another reason for coming by. Yes? I have news about your son. <laughs> Which one? The one who has six months to live? The one who's getting a divorce? Or the no, one who's a fine... the one you haven't heard from in 15 years. Do you know anything about him? Do I know anything about him? I am him. So you're not Bob Baxter? No, I'm Bob Clayton, your son. <gasps> My mother-in-law. <laughs> Mom! Oh, no. <laughs> You're not Bob Clayton, my son. You're Bob Fieldson, Victoria's son. Victoria who? Victoria Fieldson. You mean that weirdo that has amnesia? Yes. <laughs> but she has amnesia no more. <laughs> Victoria, Victoria, come out. Your son is here. Son. Mom. <laughs> I knew I dressed you funny. <laughs> but I thought you'd get over it. No, no, Victoria, dear. This isn't your son. That's your son. Mom. Son. Mom! Will you not get off that, your mom? <laughs> mom! <laughs> Stop. Stop pushing. This is the way you pushed me into the Canoga Falls Falls. <laughs> Victoria, you mean you knew it was she all these years and you never said anything? Why? <laughs> because she knew I'd kill her if she told anybody I tried to kill her. You... <laughs> One question at a time, you know? <laughs> I'll tell you why. Sit down, Victoria. <laughs> and you too, Marion. <laughs> my story. Some years ago, some years ago, when I was just Falls, penniless and poor. I was a dance hall girl, and oh, how I suffered. There was no dance hall in Canoga Falls. <laughs> but it was then that I, that I met Franklin Forbes. Franklin Forbes. Why is that name familiar? <laughs> he was your husband. <laughs> oh, him. Yes, and I, I fell in love with him deeply, hopelessly, madly, passionately. I like him a lot. But, oh, he fell in love with you, Victoria. Oh, yes, he fell in love with you, Victoria. <laughs> just because, just because you were a little prettier and, uh, and a, a little younger. <laughs> That's not true, my dear. I was a lot prettier. <laughs> Why, you miserable no, thing? Please. please, 
It's all in the past, and now we must search for tomorrow as the world turns. <laughs> That's the telephone. <laughs> Hello, thank you, Herb. Thank you for calling. That's wonderful news. Goodbye. <laughs> I have wonderful news. My son is not getting a divorce from his hippie wife after all because she promised to shave and get a job. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you. Yeah. When I was in the kitchen, the doctor came to the back door. He did? <laughs> and you know your son? Yes. The one they give six months to live? Yes. Well, the doctor says he's improving. Oh. They now give him seven months. <laughs> <laughs> Two mother's prayers have been answered. I don't want to argue, Victoria. Now all of us in Canoga Falls are happy. You, Victoria, you have your son and your amnesia is gone. And you, Mom, you found a real mother. You're going to marry a real mother. And you, you, Rich Lady Canoga, you're the lucky. Because you're marrying our son. He's just what I've always wanted. A companion. <laughs> oh, I just wish your poor dead husband were here to enjoy all of this. Listen, I have something I must tell you all. My poor dead husband isn't dead. <gasps> no, he's been in, downstairs in the basement all these years composing a song that will make us rich. <gasps> Gas! <laughs> what a devoted man he is. In 15 years, not once has he come up those stairs. Yes, it's been quite a breather. <laughs> Darling! I finished the song. We're going to be rich, man. Oh, that's wonderful, darling. Now we can leave crummy Canoga Falls. Can you say that again? Sing the song, darling. That's wonderful. Sing the song for us all. Don't rush me. I've got plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.